everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to episode number 31 of Syndicate Shenanigans. We completed the last Karl Marx and Queen Victoria mission last time, and uh, yeah, we saved Parliament from getting blown up, and we saved Karl Marx from getting shot to death, kind of. <laughs> Let's see, I still have a couple Darwin missions left, and again, the stuff isn't fucking showing up! We haven't done a Darwin's Dickens mission in a long time, so let's go ahead and do one of those instead. I was going to do a Darwin's mission, but I forgot I had that conspiracy thing. I keep forgetting about it. So we'll do this first. And uh, I think this is the nearest fast travel point, so we'll go ahead and do this. Darwin's Orchid, I believe, is this one. No, don't look at me. I'm doing something hit. What? Wait a minute. I feel like I've done this one already. Oh, go swimming. This feels oddly familiar. Recover Darwin's orchid at the dock. I've done this. So I've already done this mission. I'll probably skip through it. And uh, yeah, then we'll do another Darwin's Dickens conspiracy that we haven't seen before. So yeah. Don't look at me. I know I'm sexy, but please. No, restrain yourself. Damn it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Double kill. Ooh, right in the face! Owie, right in the spine. Okay, I killed them all before, after the timer ran out, but I got it. I could just hop off and, you know, cut the mission short, but Ubisoft's like, no, if you want 100% sync, you gotta go around the long way, because we hate you like that. No, I'm just kidding. I, I actually like Ubisoft in most of their games. It's just sometimes they really piss me off, you know what I mean? Hello. Ah, thank you, my young friend. Thank you. You're welcome. This little orchid may seem inconsequent. Ah, thank you, my young friend. Thank you. What the this fuck? May thank you. You're very welcome. Again. Okay. Cool, I did it. Full sync. Are you actually gonna count this time? There. I did it. Hello? Here's the Darwin and Dickens mission I haven't done before. Hey, we're going to see Dickens this time. Greet a friend of Mr. Dickens and Mr. Darwin. A friend. Hello. Oh, he's here too. I think our young friend here, equipped with a multiplicity of talents, oh, stop might it. be enough to ensure Mr. Hammond safe passage. Hammond. Who's Hammond when he's at home then? A mutual friend of ours. He arrives in London today. Hmm. From South Africa, no less. Mr. Hammond is possessed of both tremendous wealth. And charming innocence. Okay. Which makes is it a kid? Attractive prey for some of our great city's less savory inhabitants. Is it an adolescent? We fear he'll need a more robust escort than two old men might provide. I'm not a coachman, you know. <laughs> News to me, Jacob. Already told him to expect you. His train should have arrived ten minutes ago. Oh well, shit. Well, then I suppose a friend of yours is a friend of mine. Splendid. Off you go. Off I go. Okay, I'm going to pick somebody up at the train station. Hello, sir. I'd like to borrow your carriage, even though it's only 130 meters away, but fuck it. Would you mind telling me? There we go. There we go. Okay. I know. I'm a bloody great oaf, but I'm a bloody doofy, hunky oaf, so I don't really care. Hello, Mr. John Hammond. Duh. Do you have, like, a mosquito in amber or something like that that these guys want? Mr. John Hammond? That is correct. Hi. So you're not an adolescent. Mr. Dickens sent me to meet you. Oh, good old Dickens. How very kind of him. Lead on, then. Not a problem. Follow me back down the stairs. Thank you. London. Can't say I've missed the weather. I like the London My weather. My father passed away recently, and I have come home to settle his affairs. Oh, well, that's sad. Also, I am to be married. Well, that's also sad. <laughs> you don't sound too keen on the idea. I have never even met my future bride, Bella Wilson. It was all arranged for me. She may be a good woman, or she may not. As if you're already supposed to be unsure about a marriage. Can I be certain that the lady is not simply in it for the money? No, you can't. Whoa! All right then, hey, 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 hey! On me! 
Oh, no, I was pointing the control stick the other way! Oh, and the other guy dropped dead, so I can't get a double kill. I'm trying, Deppy! I'm trying so hard! It's just not working out. Perhaps I can test my bride's sincerity. How so? What's your what? I'll find out where you're buried. Don't soon you grave. I am now officially dead and have thus shed my fortune. Wait, what? I shall meet Bella Wilton as a nobody. We shall see if she'll have me now. Oh. Come, we must dispose of my body. Find us a carriage to take us to the river. What? This e what? I'm just supposed to deliver you to Dickens, buddy. This is more than I bargained for. What are you even thinking? Why am I- How are you supposed to find the body if I throw it in the river? What? <laughs> I'm a little confused as to how this is supposed to be working. But, whatever. I'm just supposed to carry a body 600 meters, I guess, unless... Put the body in here. Can I take the body back out after this? I can. Okay. Hey, buddy. Get over here. Get on. Thank you. Off we go. Good work. How exciting. Is this is this another Dickens novel thing? I I knew the last time for the haunted the haunted house thing. That was his last novel. But uh is this another one? Is it a joke? That's the way. Wait, is there like a pair of stairs or something or can I just like throw it off? The, you know what? I'm going to try to throw it off the ledge. Just gonna try that. Pardon me, Mr. Hammond, sir. Come here. I have the body. Well, calm down. This was your idea. Gonna throw it. There we go. Okay. I did it. Now let us go and meet my fiance. I can't wait to see her response. That's a little. That's a little sad, don't you think? That's. She's not gonna marry you just because you decided to be a dick. Get on my carriage, you dimwit. That's a girl. Don't be a dimwit. Be a duke, not a dimwit. Okay. Yeah. Bioshock Infinite reference. I feel quite liberated, as if a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders. After this, just to be sure, would you take me to my fiance's house? I shall deliver the sad news myself. Walk on, girl. That's horrible. It's a bit risky to me. Yeah. She has never set eyes on me. Besides, I need to ascertain whether I like her as well. So you fake your own death to get away from her. To the news of my death. This seems like a very bad idea. This is taking far too long. You're going the wrong way, I'm sure. Shut the hell up! We're right here! Please hurry, I'm very anxious to meet Miss Wilson. Man, you have the patience of a god. What's an impatient animal? I can't think of it. A pa impatience of a uh, uh, fruit fly. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Are they impatient? Who knows? Hello, Miss Bella Wilton. If you are, what if you both have the same idea? And that's like the gift of the magi really? thing. Yeah. Is it a Dickens tale? I think it is. My name is John Rokesmith. I'm afraid I have some terrible news for you. Oh. Your fiancé, John Hammond, was found dead in the River Thames this morning. Oh, how awful! Would you stop oh, resetting my camera? I am at a loss at what to say to you, sir. You must forgive me. Oh my god. She is delightful. Why, I do believe I love her. What? Already? Certainly an unusual first meeting to talk about in your wedding speech. Okay, you just say that right in front of her? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. What does an... Oh wait, an orchid and now a bride. Is this whole Darwin's Dickens conspiracy supposed to be like a setup for a wedding? Is this really no conspiracy at all, more of just like a secret surprise or something? Mmm, I wouldn't put it past these gentlemen, but okay, now it's time to do a train mission, and then I believe it will be time to stop. So, where's my train? Oh, I suppose we could do that. Wait, hold on, let me empty my safe. There. I suppose we could do this, because we did the first with Nigel, and we haven't done another one with him since. So, let's do this. 
Nigel in for the chop? That doesn't sound good. Oh, right, I have to be easy for this. Nigel went out drinking with a gang last night. They ran up against some Templars and killed one. Oh, no. And Nigel was too stozzled to get away. Do the constables have him up for murder? Murder? Well, we gotta do something against that, do we? Something about that, do we? See, I can't talk anymore. After this episode, I'm gonna just gonna stop. <laughs> okay. I must speak to Nigel. Did you put me a thousand meters away from the- Yeah, you did. Oh my god, why would you do this? Alright, well this is gonna take even longer, again. I don't understand. Why does this game do this? How'd you like that threaded needle? Oh, how'd you like that threaded needle? Yeah, I'm such a good driver! Fuck, I'm not bad for that. Don't kill any policemen during the investigation. Okay, finally, for fuck's sake, we're actually here now. Why do they do that? Can't you just put me at the nearest train station? Is that too hard? Like, instead you make me run or drive, whatever, 15 meters away from the objective in the middle of a story mission, so without fast traveling. That sucks. Okay, so there's Nigel. I'm sure they do. Okay, I made it. This is going to go bad for you. Confess, and you'll save us all some grief. Oh, I didn't do nothing. So help me, Bob. <laughs> hmm. Well, that sucks. And to me. We kept buying drinks. Next thing I know, they said I burnt someone. Oh, Nigel. I had one too many. I lost all my things. They must be scattered all about. Oh, and there's a knife out there, too. Could you get him before the Rosses? <gasps> Shut up! Oh, boy. Yikes, yeah, that was close. Okay, so I have to destroy the evidence and knock out four policemen. I suppose I could have knocked one out, but I didn't read it until after I left, so there's plenty anyway. <laughs> Okay, so I need three pieces of evidence. One of them's a knife. I wonder what the second one is. Yep. Hip. Bip. One. Take a nap, sir. You've earned it. Okay, now I'm in a restricted area. I'll go ahead and go for these police over here. Unless he comes over here. Nope, he's going back. Okay, good. Two! Oh, hello, Mr. Officer, sir. Can I knock you out as well? No, you're a firefighter, so you kind of count as a civilian, I guess. Boop, 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 boop. No! No, there's no evidence there! You see nothing. No, nothing! Mama said, choke you out! Okay, so that's three. Just. Oh, destroy, destroy, quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, yeah, okay. Why can't I just pick it up and take it with me? Like, really? <laughs> I feel like they could still dig it up. If they see a random lump in the earth, they're like, what's that? Seems strangely ineffective, Evie, but okay, whatever. Video game logic, it'll work as well as it needs to. I cannot knock him out from the air. That sucks. Whee! I'm in the bushes. Sir! Oh, oh, there's the dead guy. Okay. Shit on my ass. No! You don't see anything, I'm fine! Nope, 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 I'm not the one you want! I'm not the one you want! I'm not the one you want! Do not make me keep looking for you! I mean, weasel. Of course it's on the other side of the gate. Of course! Ha! 
wait, did I fail it for some reason? Wait, 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 wait. Did I fail something? No, I did it. Okay, just for some reason it... Did... Oh, no, I guess that fourth guy did count, so I did five, I suppose. Whatever. Extra credit! My smoke bomb would be great. Two of them, for good measure. Eh? Did I take... Uh, that must have been the cleaver or whatever that he killed him with. I don't know. But, okay, I got it. Now I just need the third piece of evidence, which is... Right there. Blood, you say? Perhaps I could help you with it. No, get away from it! Dab goblet. Just walk away. Just walk away. Just walk away. Huh? 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 Yeah, I did it. Now I have to hide the body. Okay. No, you must be crazy, because clearly there was nothing there before. Uh-oh. Okay, so... What? I'm hiding the body. Fuck off. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, ah. That guy's so gonna see. I'm outside the restricted area. You shouldn't bother me, you bitch. Pardon me. I'll just go through here. Nope. Don't mind me. Every time you just let you follow me, if that's all right. No. All right. What does your does your shit just? Okay. I'll just I'll be back. Today's not my day. <laughs> So, I'm just gonna record the rest of whatever I want tomorrow. Really, my only goal for today was to beat Sister Location, so I did. Okay, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna hide the body wherever this is. Is that a carriage? Or, no, I guess I'm just putting it on the ground? Oh no, it's in a haystack. Okay. That works perfectly for me. There! Speak to the chief of police. He isn't one of the ones I knocked out, is he? <laughs> that would be a bit of a problem. I'm, I'm a sexy looking woman, if you don't mind. Hello, sir! Totally not suspicious woman. Reporting for duty. And what evidence are you holding this man? Why, on, uh, uh, Sergeant? I believe at a minimum you need a body. We can't find a thing, Inspector. You botched another one, Sergeant. Uh, oh, look at that smirk. She's like, I don't know anything about that. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so I did it! Nigel's safe. He's been sitting on that corner awaiting execution for a long time. But, alrighty then. I believe that'll about do it for this episode of Syndicate Shenanigans. I honestly have no idea how long this episode's gonna be. Because I had so many technical problems, and then I had to replay a mission I'd already done. And so I have no idea how long this episode's gonna be. It might be shorter. So if it is, I'm sorry, but I have since lost track. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Syndicate Shenanigans. Like and favorite if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you when technology decides to cooperate.